Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Open Scad. With all our favorite fancy shapes and stuff, these stuff, stuff. Oh, it's laggy. And today's ep wow, it's really laggy. Episode's all about four loops, echo, ziff, and floor. A lot of stuff here, so it's time to get serious. Let's get serious and get this stuff. Why is my computer... Well, whoops. I forgot to clear all this from my last failed take. Anyway, um, the for loop is a line of code that declares a variable and then repeats that variable at different values. That sounds about right. So, the way you do this fancy thing, you do for, in parenthesis, and then your variable, I'd like to, I'll just put x, I'm lazy, I'll feel lazy today, then your first number, which is going to be the number where it starts, a colon, and then your second number, which is going to be the number uh, that it skips per iteration, and then your third number is going to be the number where it ends. And then you so now we have a line of code that declares variable x that starts at zero and ends at eighty and counts by fives. So now I can put that anywhere and say something like hmm let's do rotate. Mm -hmm. X times two then translate translate on the y by say x times four I've never done this before I kinda wanna see if I can make a spiral and then cube of x Oh, hey, I got the start of a spiral. Anyway, you see, we have a, a, a da, 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 space moment. We got here a cube, like we declared down here, that gets larger by five mil. I can't talk today. I wish I could talk today. It gets larger by five millimeters each time, because cube gets larger by 5 millimeters until it reaches 80 millimeters all the way up here which also rotates by 5 times 2 10 each time and translates by 20 each time and just keeps building on and building on and building on and instead of having to write like cube rotate translate 15 different times we just type 4 it's so much easier so much better. I like the for loop. So next thing on our list was what was it? It was echo. Was it echo? It is echo. Echo. So echo is a um well it echoes. That's about it. I don't know how to explain it. So you type it, you put echo, and then a parenthesis, and then um, you need a variable for this. So let's make a variable variable. Variable equals 20. And then we echo very, uh, very, uh, very, variable, very, upple, variable. You know, I'll just. I don't care if I typed it in wrong, I'll just type it in wrong again and the computer won't care. So now, echo of variable is 20. And you see that down here where it says echo colon 20. See? See? It's echoing. It's telling us what the variable is. And I know that seems sort of useless, considering we can just look up here and say variable equals 20. It's pretty nice, actually, when you have big, long things, like, say, um, 
sine of angle 32 times the square root of 94 F5 which turns out to be 5.13776 yeah I would have never known that it would not been for echo very variable echo variable I mean also uh, one thing I forgot to mention if you put something in quotes in the echo it comes up being the word although why it still puts the quotes there I don't know so we can put variable variable in quotes and then v variable blah, 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 blah. and then comma another variable and we get variable comma 5.13776 so it tells us what 5.13776 means that's about it just really nice for complicated debugging stuffs and as far as if and uh, um, the, the floors concerned they're kind of hard to explain without a project so let's just get into the project and uh, we'll ex figure it out when we get there so project probably should have thought this up better how about a chair let's make a chair what kind of chair let's make a log chair like a plank chair Planks are boring. Hmm. What about a log chair? Yeah. Now we can make a log chair. Let's see, how to make a log chair? We can make a log chair by... Let's do 4, and then... X equals... How many logs do we want on our log chair? see one two three four let's do four so negative four colon one colon four and that should get us pretty good there now let's do let's see uh, hmm translate by so I'm on the x that's x times whatever the radius of our cylinder is. So let's put that as a variable up here. Radius, log radius, equals eh, 5. 5 sounds good. We like 5. And then paste, and 0, 0. Don't need to do much else. Hmm. So now, we want to make an arc. Uh, what's the parab... I think, if I remember correctly, a parabola, if it's that's what it's called, is x squared. So let, let's try that. Silen, let's make a cylinder. Make a cylinder that is... Excuse me, that's... Well, let's just do x squared. See how that works out. x squared times log radius, or not times, by log radius, by log radius. And then close that off. Whoa, that's really short. Hmm. Close, but not quite. And I need to translate it over x times log radius times 2. Because log radius is the radius, and we want diameter. What about if we just difference these from some longer cylinders? Like, say, um, let's do another variable. Chair height. Chair height. 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 Uh, the hundred. Why not? So then, chair height height minus x times x hey that's more what I was thinking that's much better I wonder if we can make that a little steeper let's say x times x times 4 little too much x times x times 3 that's pretty good I like that it's all pretty yay 
Yay. So let's see. Let's see if we can rotate. I don't want caps lock. Don't give me caps lock. Rotate around the X. Say negative 5 degrees. Just to give it a nice chair like slope. Oh. Make that positive 5 degrees. That looks pretty nice. And then we're going to need another one of these. Just copy and paste this pretty much. Control V. We don't need the times 3 down here. And we need that to be 90. And that should be it, right? Oh, backwards. Negative 90. Aha! Hey, look! We have close to a chair let's let's make that a module module Where, where's my cursor oh it's all the way up there okay module back in butt I don't know I don't know what I was supposed to call it I'm sorry I'm sorry and then just cut and then paste do 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 yeah what does this what this was already pretty there was no little stupid extra slashy things that we made that were hanging out over there now there's extra why 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 is there extra slashy things I don't want more slashy things uh well anyway so now we have module back in butt back in butt now I think Don't tell me that you can't use the and sign in stupid stuff. I will make it module back butt. There, now it suddenly works. She's. She's. You can't use the and sign in your module names. That's just. No. Alrighty, so. I kind of want to make that a variable. Let's say log number. Oh, equals four. I wonder if it'll let me do that. Copy negative log number to positive log number. Hey, it works! Cool! It works! We can make this thing awesomely parametric now. So now let's do another module. Module of arms. Let's make it arm. So now we have module arm. So the arm is going to have to be the same length as... We're going to need that cylinder up over here and then that cylinder up over here so we can do that with fancy math problems yay fancy math problems cuz everyone loves math woohoo so let's see fancy math problems that's going to be let's do the this one first so that's going to be log number squared 100 minus log number squared yeah so chair height minus log number squared just like this cool let's make that a variable nah nah let's not make that a variable that's just a little too far cylinder we like our cylinders 
So that's going to have to be this dubby paste and we copy and paste. Woo. We just love copy and paste. What would you ever do without copy and paste? Now you wouldn't do much copying or pasting, that's about it. I don't know what I'd do without copy and paste. I just I love the stuff. I love it. It's awesome. Okay, let's render a module arm. Let's see what it looks like. It looks about the right shape. Wrong place. So now we're going to have to rotate that around and get to around the X, nine, negative 90 degrees. Yeah, yeah, because that's how we rotated the base. So F5, the, and now it's hidden. I can't see module arm. So now we're going to have to we have to move that up so we can see it. Translate. Um... Well, that's going to be fun. We have to figure out how much that distance is. But we only know that distance. Hmm. Sounds like I need to call like my old geometry teacher or something. Wait a minute. Is that... I, th I think we can use sine to figure that out. Let's see. Let's see. So that's going to be... We know that angle, which is 5 degrees... Now we need that side, so that's going to be uh, adjacent over hypotenuse cosine of angle f of 5 degrees. Cool, so uh, we don't need to translate it back or over any. We can just do 0, 0, and then cosine of angle 5 degrees times the length of the hypotenuse which is chair height minus x times x times 3 which is x is log number so chair height minus log tumber log tumber what's a log tumber I don't know chair height minus log number times log number times 3 I kind of feel like we should be echoing this. If I hey, that looks about right. Except it's definitely in the wrong spot. But it looks about right. Right? Yeah. And we're also going to have to translate it back on the y axis too cuz we need to find out what that is. Wouldn't that just be sine of angle fat? Cool. Just sine. We can just copy. And then on the Y, go negative paste and make that sine. Whoa. That's a problem. Let's echo it. Echo. Echo negative sign times five times chair height times three copy based negative fifty six. That is definitely not fifty six. Hmm. Oh, it's not times three. Is that the problem? It's not times three. 24, it's closer, it's closer, chair height minus log number times log number sign, that's what that is, that's chair height minus log number times log number, hmm, I is confused, I don't know, what the... I'll just cheat and make it look pretty. How about that? Minus 20. No, plus 20. Plus 20. There. Now it looks just fine, right? 
Yeah, just fine. Don't, you know, I kind of want to keep that echo. So now we have this insanely long translate. <laughs> it's a lot of math. And now we gotta do it all over again! Yay! I can tell you're happy. Because we're all happy. Love typing. Probably even more so. We love copy and paste. Yay. So now we don't need... Uh, that we need negative five, normal five. Whoa, and that has to be translated down and over. So that means on the Z, it's got to be translated by. Excuse me, negative cosine of five. Wow. Maybe it doesn't have to be translated by negative cosine of 5 times chair height times log times 3. Let's see where 0 is. Hey, look. 0 looks just fine. <laughs> Let's make it 0. Then we have to translate this over by chair height times minus log number. We don't need that stinking sign. That doesn't look right. That's way too long. Chair height times log number times log radius log radius. Oh, plus 20. That could be a problem as well. Still, it's way too tall. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. Oh, just uh, yes, make it look pretty. Z negative ten twenty twenty five thirty and twenty seven twenty six twenty eight twenty eight you like twenty eight? No, nope, no, nope, you don't like twenty eight. No, let's do twenty five. Sure, 25. That looks that looks plenty decent. Except that, that's a problem. Let's do minus 25. Ah, that's a problem. Zero. Hey, all better now. It's all better now. Cool. Now we need to translate a module arm and another. Whoa, what happened? What happened? What's going on here? Okay, there it is. Translate by log radius times two times log number? I think so. Copy log radius times two times log number. Not, no. There we go. Times two times log number we this is so exciting yay and another zero and a zero and a zero oh hey look it's pretty and in the perfect spot and everything now we gotta have another one that's the opposite way so we just cut and paste this is the cut and paste show all we do here is sit around and cut and paste. I want those longer now. It's bugging me. It's bugging me. Minus 20. Ah! And we gotta translate these down by 5. Hey, it looks nice now. I'm gonna ignore that. And, um... Let's just... Do we, do, do we need legs? We need legs. Let me check the time. Check the time. Make sure. Um, I don't think we need legs. We don't need legs. Let's see. We covered echo and stuff. So, um, 
let's get on to let's do module style hmm. you know actually we're running out of time uh, I, I know I promised that we'd get to floor and if but um that was a little ambitious so we'll do those next episode it means I can see you all guys again yay oh shoot I know there's a recorder was already running there what'd I do oh well see you guys later bye <laughs>